Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. It's a little more than uh, five weeks away. Wow, that's coming up quickly. Yeah. It's always a real challenge to build the base they mm -hmm. want for, for that time of the year. And it looks mild going ahead, but the Killington snowmakers are some of the best in the in the Northeast. Yeah, so. and they're starting now. So yeah, that's yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm sure they will be successful. And the glacier they build around Superstar means you can ski into May. I know I was there on May 15th this year. We'll take a look at some of the pictures we had. These are of the snow from the last two days. Usually how it goes where you can't see it when it's actually happening because the clouds are covering the summits. But this is white face where down low most of the leaves are on the ground. But uh, up top you got the snow. I always love that contrast that you see on white face there. You can see it from the Burlington bike path if you are in the right spot. Really uh, impressive when you can find it. And JP kept the snow on the top as well. In this picture looks like a postcard. Looks like I went to Google Images, but I did not. And this was taken today of the well of Gondolier, that trail right there with uh, the gondola cars above it. So on Church Street right now, all is almost quiet. Got two folks there walking down the street, dry and actually not too bad out. 47 could easily be 32 at this hour of the night in mid-October, but just haven't had much of that chill. I know we started the week that way, but we're already going up. We have 60s in the cars for tomorrow. Some clouds left over in the Northeast Kingdom, but the moon is pretty near full. And I know outside the station here in South Burlington, you can already see a lot of it. So for most of us, the sky is clearing. If you're in Essex County, Vermont, give it a little while longer. There's still some clouds coming in from Canada, but we have a nice Wednesday lined up. You see the 50s here across the Adirondacks, pretty good. 51 in Lake Placid. We have a 44 up the road in St. Albans, a 50 in Randolph and 47 in Springfield. So it's beautiful tomorrow and then by Thursday and Friday there's more showers. So kind of hard to string a few of these nice days together, but I think we will next week starting on Monday. So here's the nice weather for tomorrow. Sunshine mixed with clouds. You'll really notice the temperature difference up into the 60s tomorrow. Perhaps more clouds later in the day, but it is a dry one for Wednesday. And then for Thursday, there's a few showers that start to come in. That's our next weather maker. We're not looking at torrential rain the whole day. It's just a few showers. But I do think the most rain we see will be overnight when most of us are sleeping. Thursday night late into early Friday morning. What that means for you is... I think most of Friday ends up dry, especially later on Friday should be a drying trend. There could be a shower left at like 10 in the morning on Friday, but I think it's a positive trend drier as the day goes on. The whole weather system dries out and weakens and fizzles as it moves east. So while there can be a half inch in say Messina or close to it, almost nothing down to about a tenth of a uh, tenth of an inch as you head out towards the Northeast Kingdom and Southern Vermont. So that's how Thursday and Friday look for this night, though. We've got four days, the clear sky or clearing sky. And then for tomorrow, 62 in South Hero, 65 in Burlington. Messina at 65 alone in the low 60s and should be a 70 or close to it in Brattleboro right along Interstate 91. So remember those showers on Friday skewed towards the first part of the day. Saturday should be mostly dry, but mostly cloudy and then likely some rain showers Sunday. But we are keying in on a longer stretch of dry weather Monday into the mid part of next week. It will be cooler then, though, with the first part of next week starting out in the low 50s. Brian Alice. Tyler.